Hello, this is Dr. Mo. Tonight I'm going to show you how I'm developing the Pixie Boot Installer for Ubuntu. I'm using virtualization and a VM client configured to boot from the network. It's set to be a host interface rather than an AT, which allows it to request an IP address from the router through the host OS Ethernet port. The OpenWRT router is configured so that the host OS is identified as the Pixie Boot server. The Pixie Boot allows a very quick test of my modifications and designs. So first, we'll click Start. As you can see, it will be getting the DHCP address and running the configuration. Next, we get to the Pixie Boot menu. First, we have hardware information. Here we can see what hardware is on the machine, which is very good for donated machines where you're not entirely sure of what is there. We can go into the summary, which will give us a good indication of whether or not this machine can handle an Ubuntu installation. It can even go so far as to see what RAM slots are available, so you can see if you can upgrade. The next item on the menu is the Desktop Rescue System. This is a bootable CD with partitioning and data recovery tools which allow you to recover from even a broken hard drive. Next, we have the Ubuntu Desktop. Here, we have OEM installations for both 32 and 64-bit full refurbished machines, as well as the Community Center Lab Client machines. Also, there is an Exobuntu 32-bit for older machines. After that, we have the Ubuntu server. Here we have both 64 and 32-bit clients of the long-term support, as well as the latest jaunty distributions. And finally, we have the boot from hard drive to the disk and may in future also include a boot from CD menu option which will allow you to boot from the desktop CD through the network. I hope you've enjoyed this little look into the Pixie Boot system and if you have any questions or comments I would love to hear from you. Please do comment on this entry. Thank you and have a pleasant weekend.